We're off for a weekend at the cabin. And I got the ATVs loaded, the Jeep packed. All the toys I anticipate using on our trip. We're on the road, driving through Utah Valley. And we'll be there in, I don't know, two and a half hours. So Ryan and Daniel got Wait. in last night. Yeah. Wait, is it? boy. Are you gonna put this on YouTube? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I get to be in a YouTube video. Oh Hi. yeah, famous. Insta famous. <laughs> I've got, I think, five followers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many? How many? How many follow? How many likes? Are, how many subscribers on YouTube? Uh, well, that yeah. Thank you for correcting me. I have five subscribers. That's actually good. <laughs> It's good. It's a start. It's it is. Start. It is a start. You have to start somewhere, right? Because my my friend has a YouTube channel, and, and she and she started off with like with like something, and then she's now like by, by like at least a month, she got she got to like twenty subscribers. Ooh, nice. Ah, uh, excuse me. Um, so it was funny. We're talking about Instagram, and Daniel says. Uh, Dad, how many Instagram followers do you have? I'm like, I don't know, not that many. Like 400? He goes, that's a ton. And then he goes, Uncle Nick, how many do you have? And Nick just said, laughed. And he's like, seriously, how many do you have, Uncle Nick? And he's like, like 4,000. <laughs> and then Daniel looks at me and says, Dad, you're an Insta loser. <laughs> I was like, jeez, dude. So harsh. <laughs> that is harsh. What's that? What's your YouTube channel called? It's called Big Al's Big Adventure. That's actually, that's a really cool name. Oh, thanks. I haven't settled on it, but since you like it, maybe I'll stick with it. The agenda for today. We're gonna go into town. We're gonna buy some groceries, number one. You, Man cannot eat without food and water. He, he thinks it's hot <laughs> in the true. cabin, but you even gotta though- gotta have food and water Did I eat. say man cannot eat? Yes. I meant live. <laughs> Big L. Man cannot live without food and water, I should say. <laughs> Nor can he eat without food and water. <laughs> so we're going to go into town, maybe get some breakfast. We're going to stop at the fly shop to get some flies. Flies! Yep. Get some um, leaders. We're going to make some plans. So we'll stop at the National Forest Service uh, office and just see what ATV trails are open. Oh, I uh, love the ATV. Pretty remember early that, in the spring. Remember that time when we were on the ATVs and then we were like driving around and we and then we almost hit our heads on the log, but we, we didn't. Uh, like, that really low. Don't tree. remember that. I don't remember that, but don't tell like a, that story to your mom. It was a real. Well, She's already we'll terrified. Have a helmet, of we'll have a we didn't. Oh, we didn't. Oh, <laughs> well, she we didn't. trusts us. She just doesn't like. Well, we didn't. She gets nervous being on a quad because. Yeah. Well, it could be my fault. First time I ever took on a jet ski, I did. Uh, fling us, I did fling us both off at like 30 miles an hour. <laughs> really? But that's kind of the point of, <laughs> of right. But not in her mind. We we know that. That's the point for us. I but. was like, hold my fresco. Watch this. <laughs> oh my fresco. And the next thing I know, we both flew off, <laughs> and then we came up, and then it circled around and hit her in the top of the head. Hit who? And then she was mortified. She. I mean, I thought that it could happen. It's a possibility. She, uh, she did not. Like it. And uh, she, yeah, she's been she mortified of being on a jet ski ever since. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so when she was on a quad last year, last spring, she was mortified. Well, like dummies, yes, she we uh, we didn't ease her in. We raced around. Down pretty, below the cabin a little, and then we take a, a yeah. pretty gnarly trail for a beginner down to the little reservoir. And we also did the four, the ultimate four-wheel drive section, which totally it scared the trash out of my mom. Yes, it, it did. She's she's, like, she's she said that she thought she was gonna die every moment that she was on that ATV. Yeah. Drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Where are we at, Daniel? Uh, El Bambi. Bambi. El Bambi. Why yep. is it a doe right there? Oh, it's not a doe. It's a goat. It's got a little 
This place might look a little shady, but it's probably the best breakfast. Very shady. <laughs> Hello. After breakfast, we went over to the ranger's office. We checked to make sure that the trail was open, which it was. Um, the trail was in pretty good shape, but as we got further and further up into the trail, we came to things like trees that had fallen down and blocked the trail. And we ran over a bunch of snow drifts until we got to one that was too big and we decided we just weren't gonna push it any further. It had limbs and rocks in it. And plus we needed to turn around to head back home and get some fishing in for the day.
Welcome back to our to Big Al's Big Adventure. Here's the Adventure Crew. Adventure Crew. Me, Tim, Tim. Yeah, boy. Adventure Crew. Right, so, you what do you think of this new rod? And where did you get it from? I got it from the Lost Fly Shop. Right there. Right yeah. there, Lost oh. River Fly Shop. Ow. Right here in Beaver. Yeah. Great dude. And Cody owns it. You get some hookup where he buys it's the a, rod. Yeah, it's a Reddington rod. It's an 8 6 4 weight. It's a really nice rod. Yeah. You got a screaming deal on it. As you can see, earlier we did some quads. And yep. it was a lot of fun. It was. Right now we're at, uh, what is Train this? Pond that we found. This is Kent's Lake. And also on, on the quad. Me and my dad got stuck in some snow. And I just farted. Oh, great. Upper Kent's might be a bust today. We're not having too much luck with it. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Can I come over and hold the camera? But it's pretty.